Hey, what's going on everybody? Sambo here. Welcome back to Elsamore. Uh, in today's video, I want to go through and extend our tram line from uh, the capital all the way down to Safed. And this is one of the, the areas where we definitely need to put one little station here and connect it up to Basra Island because if we look at that, there's actually quite a lot of traffic. Now, I'm fine if there's truck traffic coming in and out of it, but if we can put a tram here and then maybe a bus line from here over to here, that should significantly reduce a lot of that traffic going through there. And hopefully it'll just be a lot of like truck traffic and we can get rid of all of the car traffic. So that's one spot where we will put it. Uh, I will probably, I probably should put a station here because it's going to go right past uh, what's this, what's this area called? Samalut. Why do I always forget that? It's called Samalut. So we'll do one stop here. So we're continuing on from Abu Hafar, which is our industrial area. Come along through here. And then it'll come around here. We'll do a little station here with a bus terminal. And then we'll do a little bus route that goes from here over into here. And then I think the best option is to go is to go down along here because we go past the industrial areas i don't want to go along this road because obviously that's like the highway we don't really want to touch that and i know that some of you are going to be like well, why don't you just do a passenger train and i could do but you know what i just don't want to i want to do something a little bit different i think trams are uh, more flexible we can put a tram through here so i'm thinking the tram it'll run along the side and then it will it'll have to kind of be elevated here and go above this little road here which goes back onto our highway and then it'll come around the side here over the top of the highway over the top of this lane here over the top of this area here so the this lane here goes down but we'll continue the tram line straight over so then we're not touching these roads here and it'll come along here we'll do a tram a tram station here with our bus and then it can probably connect over here and then we'll run it along here this is what just what i'm thinking and then i, th I think the best option is to just run it along this road the traffic actually over here really is not that bad so it doesn't matter where we put it as long as it's not on the highway obviously so uh, i think it's the best the best position to put it through here uh, we don't have to do any sharp turns you can go right along here and it's pretty much in the center we go past the hospital we go past kind of the more modern areas with all of the apartments um we've got like a little bit of a town center area over here um we go past a few office areas a few other little shopping areas then the question is where do i go from here because we have to find somewhere for it to turn around so mm, that's i don't know because we want to get get it as close to the the older area as possible because this is quite a nice little area i assume like if you were a tourist you probably would want to go you'd want to go over here you'd want to go over here so we definitely need to need to put the tram over here but it's going to be a little bit wonky because the the road is questionable um what what if we okay i think if we can bring it along here it might have to do a sharp turn maybe we can make it go down here turn and then maybe up along here and then we can kind of we can demolish that building and it can turn around there so i think that could work i, th I hope so so that is, that's the plan we're going to go through doing all of that maybe at the end there will be a little tram ride or maybe it'll be the next video it depends how long this video is going to be you can see we do have a lot of traffic coming in and out so i think it's about time that we actually got some kind of passenger transport going because there's currently no passenger line from here over to this area of our country okay so over here in Samalut there's one part that I'm not really sure how I should do it because we need to get the tram in here but we don't really have much space and um, I'm thinking we'll put the, the tram station on this side but then there'll have to be like an awkward crossing over the train track but you know what that's just what they'll have to deal with if they want a tram station uh, you know what we might just have to demolish our little farmland something like that we can put our tram station um, right there it'll be close enough there that we can connect it up with just like a little dirt road or whatever and then they can just carefully cross over the train track hopefully and no one will go splat <laughs> and just so you know this is going to be a longer video 
So let's have a look at what tram stations actually have. We might just have to stay with our generic ones that we've been using a lot throughout the city. I really don't have many and there's really not that many available either. Um, I like I like that one because it's a little bit more colorful. That one's connected to the main road so we don't want it to connect to the main road so we'll flip him around and then it can just go on there like that. Um, I'm not too fast if it doesn't look very professional. Um, I'm not fast if it if it's like not very tidy looking um, because this is the poorer country so it doesn't really matter. Okay, even even just like that is all right with me. So I think for the actual tram line, we're just gonna use the generic in-game one, which is, I believe it's that one. We'll just go down here and double check. And for this part, the tram line, it's going to run straight along the side of the, the train, which is going to be annoying to do. If I can just go like that. So I'm just aligning everything here. Uh, so I'm just aligning the tram line uh, with the same height of the train line because we've already gone through and fixed up the train line to make it look somewhat realistic. So uh, we can just kind of adjust everything to be similar to that so then we don't have to go through and um, kind of do it on its own if that makes sense. This part here is a little bit questionable so it can go down. Um, this crossing here, I know it's not ideal but it is what it is and then also this crossing here is also not ideal but again it is what it is and we just have to kind of deal with it that way i mean usually i would try to stay away from these types of really small crossings like that but sometimes you just can't really do anything else yeah, I guess one of the good things about the tram is that it is more flexible. You can do it at different angles. You can get away with it. Whereas with a train, you have to do everything pretty smooth. You can't really do too many angles or anything. From here, we're actually going to make it elevated. Hopefully we can get it through. Yeah, uh, actually, no, we won't do it from here. We'll, we'll connect it up here first. So we'll go up here just a little bit more and we'll snap it back into the middle. We might have to adjust this road, but from this point on, I want it to become elevated because we need it to get up high enough to go over the top of our little highway off ramp. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I think that will do. I know this is looking like a lot, but I kind of like it because we really don't have much room to work with and it's something different. And um, it, yeah, I like that it's all squished in. It's gonna look good to see like a tram zooming past as well. So from this point, it starts to go up very, very slowly. It goes up around, we go past this, um, what's this one? Entrance ramp to the highway. Hopefully that's all right, like the, the heights and things. Maybe that can go down just a little bit there. So then it zooms over the top of the highway. It'll zoom over the top of this one so we can bring this one back down, but we'll just have to double check the height. That's probably as high as we can, as low as we can go, I think. We'll just wait for a truck. All right. Those fish delivery trucks, they're pretty high. Okay, that one's good. All 
all right there there we go so we can bring it down a little bit further from this angle it looks like it's clipping it but it's actually not so we can bring it down maybe that much we'll have a look again go in again yep that is good like that looks good i like it we, yeah like i said we definitely don't want to add anything extra to these lanes here our highway lanes anything and we don't want to touch this road here as well the only thing I com i'm concerned about is like we have to add a bus lane that goes from here and gets over to our little tram station so we'll have to see how that goes i had to raise up the tram station just a little bit there just so the difference between this height and this height isn't too crazy it's still a little bit steep so we might have to bring it up a little bit further bring this one up just a little bit as well down there like that so that's all right we can work with that and then over here the road is oh my god what is this it's a little bit all over the place we'll make that the same height as this intersection here okay something like that so that looks good i like that and let's just zoom out and have a look at it so it i think it fits in the area like it follows the the kind of wavy curves going through here uh, and then we just have to fix up this area here and add in it doesn't have to be anything fancy Let's just do something basic to be honest like we don't add a really mind Maybe in the future we'll fix it up, but it doesn't have to be that fancy so we can just bring this one Up to the same level as our tram station. Otherwise, it looks a bit funny That one there Raise you up there as well We'll see how that goes um, the only potential issue with like something like this for example is the buses will let's just say they'll go around this way then they have to cut across this coming traffic here so the other option is to make the buses go around here and then kind of turn around here then come back so at least they're over here kind of not interfering as much over here but then again they still have to cross over this traffic anyway so it doesn't really make a difference which way that we do it so for now we'll just leave it like that and we'll come back to it so now we've got to find a tram and road so we've got to find one that fits in if we can't i'm just going to use the generic one but let's go through a few different designs and have a look so that's our bus is that one yeah the bus taxi tram not that one no not that one not that one that one is a potential that one and cars to drive on that one i think this one because it's got like the the older style look what's this one called this is the industrial tram road because we don't want it to be too flash because then it'll look out of um you know it won't look right the only downside is that when we come over here we're going to lose our nice little boulevards and trees but um oh maybe we can maybe there's this one here the parking this one has parking in the middle. What about that one? That, that one's too big. What's this one? Let's just do it over here. <laughs> what are we doing? So we've got that one with the larger parking. We also have that one. That one's one way. That one's probably too big. That one's also too big. And then those are all... Oh, hang on. What are these ones? That one you can't have cars on it i don't think yep so that's pretty much all of those yes yeah, you can see the car just turned around so hmm we have to make a decision i think we'll go with no we won't put any car parks along here because we're going to have a lot of trucks coming through here anyway so we don't want to we don't want to add in too much extra stuff but maybe once we get into more of the actual city we can have the parking lots oops <laughs> we can have the parking lots on the roads and i'll probably just make it go straight through the middle of the roundabout why do those trees spawn like that i don't know i don't get it okay so over here we probably can we fit this in that's all right isn't it yeah parking lots on the side do it over here as well because you know what you know what i always say like having the parking lots oops i just demolished the building having parking lots just makes it look more alive and more lived in so 
so we'll go straight down there so it's kind of like the main street of Safed over here and this building here we're just going to move oops we're going to move him back just a little bit excuse me all right so comes through here We've got parking on the sides which is really really handy we'll go back into our tram road which is this one so this this one is called small two lane dash tram road 16 meter and we'll have to do no collision because we don't want to demolish everything we might have to move our pillars back a little bit there that's right we might have to move some of these buildings back a little bit um uh, actually maybe we'll maybe we can go back to a smaller road here so for the skinnier areas i think i might go back to like that oh actually that one's all right so that's just the industrial one again and it still allows parking so we might have to move some of the buildings back because i don't think i have a tram slash road that is small enough that allows both of them to go through i don't think oops what is that one does this one still allow cars i don't think it does you like that yeah, there's no parking on it Yeah, you can see the little arrows stopped going up that way. So maybe, can we try that one? Does that allow them? Okay, so I've actually gone back to doing the um, the tram line that has the parking on the side. So I think that looks a little bit better. Uh, looks a little bit more lived in. The only thing is I have to go through and move some of the buildings back because they're quite close. Um, the, the old road that I was using was a lot smaller so we'll just go through and do that quickly All right, you guys, so we now have it through here. You can see um, there's a lot of cars going through here. It goes down here and then it goes around the corner here, then around the front and we'll do a little turning around area there in a second. Then also just over here, I'm just gonna make it go straight through the middle of the roundabout because I'm not gonna worry. Oh, well, maybe, how does it look if I go like that? Does it look silly or? I feel like that looks silly, in my opinion, so I'm just going to make it go straight through. Save time, whatever, it is what it is, maybe it's not realistic, but that's just what we're going to do. Again, not too fast, we can probably cover that up with like buildings or a tunnel, or something like that, so we're just going to leave that, I'm not really, yeah, I really don't care about that part. So I think the line, let's just double check, we've got it fully connected. Yes, I know that's wonky through there, but that's just how it is. Goes along here, down, 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 then over to here. So the actual plan is to continue this purple one, which actually starts over in our tourist area, goes down through the center of the city, over here past the university area, and then it's going to continue on all the way down to the end. And um, some of you will say, well, why, like, why do it like that? But I just want it to be one full long line. Okay, so let's just go through and do our stations. Then we also have to add in just a few more trams. So we have our stop over here at Samalut. So one on either side continues on down, down, down over to here. And then we'll do one stop there, one stop there. We'll come along here and we can probably, do we want to do a little one over here? Where's the connection? No, we'll, we'll do our first one right here because that's still near the industrial area. We'll come along here. We'll go down just a little bit. We'll do another one right here. 
not too far away, but still close enough. Um, we can do one in front of the hospital. I feel like that's a good spot. Go down just a little bit further. We'll do one round about there. And then this one can be right in front of there. And we'll delete that one. So I think that'll be good. Now we'll go into here and we'll add in a few more um, trams. So it's this one. If I click on so that one, we we'll go actually have how many do we have on here? We have eight vehicles, so let's add on like, we're going to need quite a lot because it's quite a large area. So let's just do like 18, maybe it's too many, maybe it's not enough. We'll see how that goes. So I think for now, I'm just going to let it run for a little while and um, maybe I'll come back in like 20 minutes or so when everything is fully going and when we've actually got trams running down through here, we can go through and have a look at how it's all going. Uh, actually, in the meantime, we better do our quick little bus loop. So we will just extend what we already have, which is this little one over here. Why does it go up there anyway? Ah, because of that stop. Anyway, so it'll come over here. Simple, just like that. So it just goes around the island, loops up to our new tram station, then back around the island. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. All right, so we'll come back and see how it's all going. Okay, so everything is up and running. Just a few little things that um, I want to change. So first of all, there was something here where for some reason the cars were going straight through. I don't know, maybe if I go like that and then cars should give way there and there. Um, and then up here, this part as well, this should give way because they're kind of crossing going all over the place this one i'm not too worried about um three here will decrease the speed it's 40 okay let's just take it back to 30 for this little part through here so 30 30 30 30 come along here it's 40 and then i think around this curve here it was going a little bit too fast we'll make that also 30 be careful not to change the highway to 30 but 30 30 30, 30, 30, 30. And then over here, I'm not too fast. Goes along here. Duh, 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 duh. Um, it's 40, 40, 40. But it did feel too fast for some reason, even though it's not fast. But it just felt too fast because I was going through here. I was looking at it in first person mode. Well, actually, it's not really first person. It's more like on top of the vehicle. But it felt too fast. And I didn't have the speed sped up. It was still at 40. It was on the lowest speed, speed one. But um, the only thing is, if I'm decreasing the speed, it makes it all slower, obviously. But does that mean that they're not going to want to use public transport as much? Because it's slower than compared to just driving a car, if that makes sense. I'm not sure. But um, that's pretty much all of that. Yep, so they're going through there nicely. We've got a lot of people waiting for them. And you know what, you guys? I'm going to be really mean and um, make you guys wait for the next video <laughs> for the first person tour because I want to change the functions around, maybe just t play with it a little bit, make it all a little bit smoother before I show you guys everything a bit closer, but it's definitely worth looking at, especially going through Safed. And you guys have probably seen throughout our capital, but um, you guys, you guys will get the the full tour from this end all the way down to that end in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any other tips, tricks, whatever for our tram line, let me know down below. And I'll catch you guys next time.